So I'm getting ready to release Back in Time Volume 7 2007 Analog Demos, which will be out on um, Friday, November 3rd, 2023. And um, if you don't know about the Back in Time series, it's like my sort of archival series um, that's like meant to be stuff that like isn't really studio album worthy, but it's stuff that I still want to release anyway. It's like demos and home recordings and stuff. So I just sort of categorized it into this back in time thing um, to just make sure that people know it's not a studio album. So this is going to be a very special back in time because it is the first time I ever recorded myself playing guitar. And I did it when I was 16 years old. I would later be 17 this year, but I did it in March of, 20, of 2007 when I was still 16. And um, as you can see, there's an electric set and an acoustic set. The first nine songs are done on an electric guitar. I had a, a 2006 60th anniversary um, Fender Strat that I got for like Christmas or something. And um, these nine songs on the electric guitar just sort of felt like they, they would work better on an electric fretboard um, instead of an acoustic one. And I didn't even plug it in, but... Um, yeah, they're done on that. And then the next nine are an acoustic set. Um, and these were done on a 2003 Yamaha guitar. Like it was my first guitar I got when I was 13. And um, I did those with that uh, guitar. And um, so I guess I just want to sort of talk about my origin story real quick because it relates to how this album got started. Um, and then I'll just talk about how we made the album. And um, anyway, so like in 2003, I got this Yamaha guitar. And um, back then, like there wasn't really guitar tabs yet. Guitar tabs were not a major thing that you could find online easily like you can today. And so if you wanted to learn how to play songs, you kind of had two options, like hope the guitar tab was online, but if not, you would have to just listen to a CD over and over again um, to figure it out, which I wasn't really smart enough to do back when I was 13. So that was out of the question. Or you could buy a songbook in like Guitar Center or a music store. You could buy the songbook, but I didn't really, those were expensive. I didn't really want to do much of that. So in order to entertain myself, I just sort of played my own stuff. I had to just play originals that I would sort of just come up with while messing around on the guitar. Because I, I didn't have like a TV in my room or anything, so it was either like read books or do this. So I would just like mess around for hours just try, like, trying to like figure out instrumentals. And after a couple of years of doing that, I realized I had a few instrumentals that actually seemed pretty good. And I just instinctively knew, knew that like I didn't want to forget them. They were good enough to where I was like, I need to preserve these somehow. So what I first tried to do was like, I tried to write them down on a piece of paper, like write down the chord positions. And I quickly realized that that wasn't gonna work because the songs were sort of too complicated for that. So when I tried to play them back reading the chords, I was like, oh shit, like I can't capture these songs with just writing down the chords. So I knew that wasn't gonna work and I needed to do something else. So what I realized was I had this Sharp Hi8 um, camera camcorder here that I got for a birthday or something. And I used it to like make home movies with my family. Me and my brother would make like comedy videos or whatever. And I was like, oh, I can use this. And you can see here, it has like a screen. So I could watch everything on the screen here while I um, recorded, then I could watch it. So um, that's what I used to film this. And um, these, you know, take high eight, um, tapes like so it's analog recordings analog tapes you put it in and record it off the tape and so this was sort of the setup here um you can see i'm like in the distance here and um, i'm going to release three uh um videos of me playing acoustic guitar and um the videos are very they're going to be very um low resolution and pixelated because as you can see the camera was pointed at this mirror here and i had to use the mirror to get the image, so I had to really zoom in. So it doesn't, doesn't work very well, but it's better than nothing. Um, but this was sort of the setup in my room here. And um, I just did these on like a Saturday or something um, in March of 2007, and just sort of um, recorded all the songs, 
just sort of pointed, pointed the camera at me and because I just wanted to have a way to preserve them. I wasn't thinking this would be like a serious like studio session or anything. It was just like a way to preserve these tracks. Um, so I could maybe refer to them in the future. Back in 2007, first of all, I was very young and had no idea about the music business. But also, if you remember back then, uh, somebody playing acoustic guitar instrumentals was about the furthest thing from what popular music uh, was back then. Like, it was like a lot of rap and boy bands and kind of early techno music or whatever. So like a, a kid pa playing, you know, acoustic guitar in his bedroom just wasn't going to work. Um, but later that actually became a lot more popular of a genre. But anyway, um, so I, I, I recorded all the songs, got them on the camera here. And um, so then jumping many years later, jumping ahead, I realized that like, these songs are actually good and they held up and, I, and a lot of them will become the basis for um, my first album, my first studio album, Millennials, in 2016. These would become a lot of the tracks that I would relearn how to play them. And um, I also realized that my these original 2007 takes were actually kind of good and I wanted to preserve them. I didn't want them to just, I, I realized that the tape was, um, you know, not going to last forever. These analog tapes degrade over time and it was starting to show signs of doing that. So I realized I needed to get these things digitalized immediately. So jumping to here, um, in maybe 2017 or something, yeah, maybe 2017, 2018, um, what I did was um, went to the uh, old Mix One studios where I first started out and this is sort of a grainy picture, but it's the best picture I could find of the control room at Mix One Studios. And right around here is where we just sort of plugged the camera into the to an aux cord and just recorded them off the camera to, to get the tracks digitalized. So those are the, those those recordings that we did there are the tracks um, that you'll hear on this album. And here is a photo of like Adam doing that. I don't think he's actually working on the the tracks, but like this is a general idea of like what it was like, what it looked like. So those were the tracks. And then what I realized was I also wanted to save the video. I wanted to preserve the video as well because I realized that was deterior deteriorating. So I looked around and I found this place, Video Transfer, which is like an analog to digital video transfer place located near Boston University on Commonwealth Ave. And they're still open today. So I took it in here. This is kind of what it looks like, the lobby. It's a really nice place. And they did it for me. And so I'm going to release three videos that um, you'll hear, you'll see, that were done or transferred by these people. Um, and the audio of these videos is going to be a little different because it's not the audio that's going to be on the album. It, we did a more restore, restored version. Because what happened was um, there was a lot of tape hiss because it's like analog tracks on a tape. So there was a ton of tape hiss. And what happened was, at the, at the exact time that I was thinking I would release this album, the same year, um, some advances in um, noise reduction technology happened. And so I was like, oh, okay, let's reduce the hiss on these tracks with this new technology. And it that seemed to be a good idea at first. But then what I realized was that took away all of the hiss, which was vital to the integrity of the sound. So it made the song sound like they were played in a vacuum and the notes would just totally die once I played them and it sounded really weird. So I was like, what can I do here? Cause I really don't want this hiss. Um, and I was like, oh, let's simulate the um, old integrity of the sound by just adding a shit ton of reverb let's throw a shit ton of reverb on these tracks and see if that does it. And sure enough, that worked. So, um, like th these things you're going to hear on this album are heavily restored. They have a lot of like fuckery done to them, but like, I think they sound honestly better than the originals. And, um, yeah, so I'll just show you the album cover here. Um, this is the final album cover. And um, 
yeah, just keep in mind that like I was 16 when I did these, so it's not gonna sound like perfect, you know, like there are some mistakes on them, but I think it's a great like early um, uh, recording of my playing, an early example of how I played when I was that age. And in some ways I actually kind of played better, um, in some ways a lot worse. And there's a few songs on here that um, I, I was never able to try to even learn again because like they were so difficult or something, or my, my fingers just got too fat to play them or something. So I just never attempted to even learn them again. I couldn't figure them out. So those will just be, those will just stand alone on the album. Let's see which ones those are. Um, looks like those are Still Got a Pulse, Time Machine, Sunrise, um, Off the Rails, One Hot Minute. There's a few of them. The rest are demos that you sort of heard before. Um, that'll be the demos for like what you heard on albums. But yeah, that's about it. Um, so it's coming out um, on November 3rd, 2023. So should be out on all platforms then. So look for it everywhere there. And um, yeah, I'll hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's It's been many, many years trying to get this done. It's finally done. So I'm really happy that it's finally able to get released. But yeah. All right. Well, that's it.